chapter 8, Mishnah 3. The Mishnah continues its discussion about different types of korbanas that become mixed up. If an asham became mixed up with a shalamim and it is not known which is which, we treat them the same as other types of korbanas that became mixed up. That is, they should be left to graze until they become blemished. They are then redeemed and new korbanas are brought in their place, as described in the previous Mishnah. The proceeding is the view of the sages. The next Tana disagrees. Rabbi Shimon says both of them should be slaughtered in the north of the courtyard, and they should be eaten according to the laws of the stricter one, namely the Asham. An Asham may be eaten only by male Kohanim, only that day and the following night, and only in the courtyard of the Beis Hamikdash, while a Shalami may be eaten even by non-Kohanim through the next day as well, and anywhere in Jerusalem. Since we do not know which animal is which, we apply the stringencies of the Asham to both. The sages explain why they reject this option. They said to Rabbi Shimon, we may not bring korbanos into a situation of invalidation. That is, we may not put korbanos into a situation that increases the chances of their becoming invalid. By reducing the time allowed for eating the shalamim, the number of people who may eat it, and the area in which it may be eaten, we make it more likely to be disqualified. Therefore, these two korbanos may not be offered and eaten according to the stricter laws of the asham. In the following case, parts of korbanos that had already been slaughtered became mixed up together. If pieces of meat from one type of korban became mixed up with pieces of meat from another type of korban, whether it was meat of koche kodashim that mixed up with meat of koche kodashim kelim, or meat that is eaten for one day with meat that is eaten for two days and a night, they should be eaten according, according to the laws of the stricter one.